Okay, so we're gonna do a test of the longer Orange 30, and this is the first print. They also sent me some clear longer UV resin. And uh, we're just gonna use um, the zombie hunter head uh, that's preloaded onto the USB um, just as a test run. I have leveled the bed and uh, hopefully, hopefully I got it all right. I was having a little bit of difficulty getting it leveled correctly. Um, it's a little bit crankier for some reason than the longer Orange 4K, um, but hopefully it, it worked out, so we'll see. Let me get this started here. Push blue. she's going. It'll be a little bit before we figure out what's uh, what's what and what's happening, but uh, I'll keep you updated. And so it's going to plunge down into that clear rest. Awesome. Get its bubbles out. So hopefully that will work out. Okay, so it looks like we're about an hour and a half in or so, approximately. And each time it lifts, I can hear that fine muffled pop of the uh, FEP disconnecting from the print. So I think it's probably printing something, but I guess we'll find out. Okay guys, so I got finished with my first print with the Longer Orange 30 and it is really cool. Um, this was just a test print on their file and it's kind of like this, I mean it's called a zombie head dude, but it's kind of like a, you know, high dude with a high and tight and a, and a stogie here, I guess. <laughs> a cigar, I guess, and a nice beard and all that. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. I mean. It's hard to see because it's clear, but they sent me clear um, resin, which is really awesome. I love the clear resin. But the longer clear resin is also very nice resin, and like that stuff is hard. It's good, good stuff. So you can kind of see some of the print lines. That's okay. The rest of it has some pretty darn good detail in it face and his nose and his eyes are really cool. So yeah, his ears are super detailed. His hair. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, looking forward to making some more prints with this and uh, really excited to um, keep printing some new things.